guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going out again. Um, it's currently July 3rd, 2 p.m. And I'm about to go pick up a book from a bookstore that's like 20, 30 minutes away from me. But they're the only store that has the book that I've been wanting in stock. So I'm going to go ahead there. Originally today, I just planned on getting the book and then going to a nearby park to read. It's really, really nice out today. It's not too hot. It's pretty windy. But... My friends also asked me to watch Spider-Man tonight, so I decided to just go with them, you know? Let's head to the bookstore and then I think I want some matcha. I don't know yet. Oh, my wallet is creaming for help. <laughs> I was only supposed to get one book. This is the book that I've been wanting. It's the next book after Once Upon a Broken Heart, if you guys remember. Um, it's a hardcover, but it's fine because it's, it's, it's very, very pretty, right? And I was just walking along the teen section and then I found her. If you had been with me, this book has been on my radar for two years. Ever since I started reading, I've always wanted to read this book, but it's never sold in like any bookstores in my city. So if I was gonna buy it, I would have had to buy it online. But I was just walking inside and then I looked to my right and I saw this, I'm like, oh my God. I have it here with me now. I have a new baby. Oh my God, I'm so excited to read this. Guys, you don't know. You have no idea how excited I am. I think I'm emotionally ready to read this, okay? I'm very, very excited. It's really hot, so I will definitely be getting a matcha. Yeah. Guys, I've been driving with like windows down and like music blasting, and it's the most therapeutic thing ever. Especially in the highway when you're going like 80 kilometers per hour. Definitely drive safe if you're doing this, but it's the best thing. Yeah, shark along. <laughs> now if you can already tell um i went home first to change into something more comfortable and i decided to bring if he had been with me and i'm actually in the middle of three series right now i'm in the fourth book i'm in the fourth book of the addicted series i'm in the second book of the once upon a broken heart trilogy and then i'm in the I'm in the third book of the Magnolia Parks universe and I think I just want to take a break from those series and I want to read like a standalone novel and also I'm just really curious about this book. I know this book from the videos and reviews that I've seen. It's a really like devastating sad book and I really just need to feel something right now and so I brought her with me today. I'm so so excited and I'm so happy and yeah. I'll let you guys know what I think. And I'm hoping to finish in like three, four days maybe. Who knows? I have a matcha with me. I have my matcha with me. I got nobody here with me. So I'm gonna read in peace. And yeah. Mmm.
update. It is now oh, 5.07 and I am 102 pages into the book. And it's a really quick read. The spacing on the pages, like the words aren't compact in the pages. It's going by really fast. It is a YA fiction, so it's really, really easy to understand, really easy to comprehend and follow along. But so far, it's just been kind of introducing the main characters, Finny and Autumn, and they're falling out, how they grew up together. I'm at the part where they're both sophomore in high school, and they're kind of, they have their own lives. Autumn has a boyfriend, Finny has a, Finny has a girlfriend, and so far I've only read from Autumn's point of view. I don't know if it's like a dual point of view, or if it's just going to be Autumn for the whole book, but you can by how it's written you can tell that those little little interactions that she has with finney kind of still impacts her a lot i'm curious to see how their relationship unfolds i'm gonna go back home now i think i'm gonna cook dinner for my mom so that when she gets home and i'm not home she and my brother will have something to eat i'm also gonna get ready to go to the movies our movie starts at 7 10 so i have like an hour to get ready and then i think they'll pick me up yeah it is now July 5th, 12.32 p.m. I'm actually at a field beside the gym that I just went to. I went to the gym today. It's the first time in like a month and a half. And um, I feel good. I'm going to be sore, but I feel good. I do want to work out regularly again. And I'm just trying to um, be disciplined about it. I need discipline. That's what I need. I think I have the motivation, I just need to be disciplined to like actually get up and work out every day. I did finish If You Had Been With Me yesterday. Um, it took me two days to read that book, which is actually pretty fast. I've been in a slump, and I think that book got me out of slump, but I've been in a slump for like three, two, three months now, and for me to finish that book in two days is just amazing for me, but I would give that book if i'm being generous i'd say that book was a 3.5 out of 5 stars but honestly i feel like it's a three star book for me because i mean it's it's i guess it's bad that i went into it with high expectations because of how hyped up it was on tiktok but i feel like honestly for me it was just really slow in the beginning like until halfway i didn't really know what was gonna happen or like what was going on if any of it was necessary i also do feel like the ending was kind of rushed i didn't really have like any closure kind of it's just like it happened and that's the end that's how i feel now i have kiss the sky with me by krista and becca ritchie if you didn't know this is the fourth i think i'm positive i'm not i'm not 100 sure but this is the fourth book to the Addicted slash Calloway Sisters series and this is Connor and Rose's story. Lately I feel like I've been drinking more matcha than water and that is so so bad. That is so bad. I need to like I have a I literally went to the gym this morning without a water bottle. It's been three hours and I haven't had a sip of water and that's really bad. Please, please, please stay hydrated, drink your water, please. I'm gonna read, and then in a little bit, I think I'm gonna go get groceries because I've been snacky lately. Like, I'm, I'm just, I've just been craving snacks. But I'm gonna go read for a while, read for a bit, uh, get some groceries, and then get food to eat.
I have a lash appointment in five minutes and I dropped by a what is it called? I dropped by my favorite pastry shop because I've been wanting Carissa on my lash tech, my friend, to try this. And I love their almond croissant, but they didn't have any in stock today. So I just got her like a variety. I don't know if she like any of these, but I got her an eclair, a cronut, and then I kind of want some of this. I went to the gym today. I worked on my legs today and it felt really good. I just wanted to share that because I'm pretty proud of myself. I woke up at like 6 and then I headed to the gym around like 7.30. I walked back home. It's been a really productive day and I'm very, very, very proud of myself. It's a good Friday. I love, I love productive Fridays. It's very rewarding. I'm at work now. I'm gonna look at my lashes. <laughs> look at my lashes. Pretty, right? Okay, I'm gonna work now. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it's good, bro. It's good, it's good. It's what did it do, boy? We straight, we straight. We outside, we outside. 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 I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Bomb city. Oh, oh, oh my god. What's good, guys? What are we eating here? We're eating some taho. Taho, taho, and uh, tofu, mother. Taho, taho. Taho. Straight up, straight up. Lord, we got tofu, let me see um, yo. Let me see your some black, let me black see liquid. Let me, let, me see, yeah. let me see the making. The making of the taho. Chevy taho. Oh, word. Nice. Yeah. Okay. What's up? <laughs> I'm in the middle of it. I'm in the middle of it. It's so good, bro. Oh, it's good. Kobe Bryant. Yo, chill, bro. Not too much on Kobe, bro. <laughs> yeah, not too much on Kobe, bro. You're <laughs> 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 Yeah. Ube? Uh -oh. oh yeah, I tried that by Kubo. Ube? Yeah. Like Ube Ube? Like, like it's like, it's like, I think it was a beer or something. Yeah. Better Ube. Yeah, yeah. Like Ube flavor. Oh, that's good. That's good. When I went there with Lawrence. Patrick. Yo, Patrick. Patrick. Oh, shit. Don't know. Where'd you call? <laughs> 